Hello, ordinary and beautiful. Welcome again to my channel. For those of you who are new, hi, my name is Lena. It's nice to have you here. Okay, first, I apologize if you see this outfit for a second time, but I'm at home. I'm getting comfortable. And this is my new favorite t shirt. I'll show you why it's my favorite t shirt. New York. New York is a dream destination to me ever since I was five years old. And first to mention that this t-shirt actually is a men's t-shirt, but I'm going with the unisex thing. Anyway, I love this t-shirt, it's wonderful, it's beautiful. It's from this uh, store, uh, big market, supermarket in Bulgaria, Lidl, and it's good, it's nice. I love this t-shirt, I can live in this t-shirt. Let's focus on the theme of the video today, which is my empty products. Okay. I'll go fast and as possible as I can because I'm limited with the lightning. It's about 4.30 p.m. and I'm trying to work as fast as possible today. Let's start with hair care. Okay, first I will mention this. This is the baby shampoo bochka with uh, chamomile. And I use this not only to wash my hair, but I use it mostly to wash my brushes, my uh, beauty sponge. And I am happy with it. It works just fine. This is not the first package I buy. It sure won't be the last. Okay, the next thing. This is Cynthia Sylvia Stout Beer Shampoo. I got this when I went to visit my sister in Sofia with her uh, little daughter. And I gave it a try. The first time I tried it, I was afraid that my hair was going to smell like alcohol, but nothing like that. This works fine, it's beautiful, my hair is shining and it's squeezing, you know, when you wash it, it's supposed to squeeze when you run your fingers through it. This was the small package and I'm going to visit the Lush store again, this time for maybe a bigger package. This is my favorite drugstore shampoo. This is by Balea. Uh, with v uh, vanilla and I think some kind of nuts. N how you say it in English? Almond, almond nuts, yes. And I have to say this is the best sh drugstore shampoo I have ever tried. It smells good, it washes my hair good. I remember when I used this for the first time, my hair condition changed drastically. I'm going to buy it again for sure. I recommend it 100% because look at how happy lady on the picture looks. Body. Let's go to the body. This was a gift by my friend Kali. This is a shower gel with grapefruit and bergamot. It's very refreshing, very nice. It's from Germany. Body, soul and wellness. Ne, bo no. Body and soul and wellness. Fervion Duschgel. Did I say it correct in Deutsch? It's a beautiful, it's a very refreshing and another plus it, that it doesn't have any parabens. If you have watched my previous videos guys, you know that most of the time I mention if this thing has parabens. So yeah, it's paraben free, this one too, so good, good, good. good. <laughs> okay, another one, this is from Santin Nature Cosmetics with lemon and papaya another shower gel. I got this one in my good box a subscription. I am happy I got it. It was nice to try this kind of uh, shower gel. And I, I'm more about citrus scents when it comes to my shower gels most of the time. Because especially when now when it's summer and so I won't be able to find any grapefruits in Bulgaria. I prefer some citrus and oranges and lemons and grapefruits, you know, all of this kind of uh, scents around me. This is my uh, Joanna Sensual uh, body scrub with or argan oil. I had the shower gel uh, again with the argan oil. I had the body lotion and this one, this one is also nice, especially when I'm finished with my workouts and everything else for the day. This one used to be quite nice. I liked it a lot. I got this from a box that was sent to me to test the products and I was very happy. This and the body lotion and shower gel were my 
three favorite products from the whole box. I mean, they were so nice and so gentle, no irritations on my skin. I'm very sensitive, guys. My skin is very picky when it comes to specific products. Can I say that, that my skin is picky? Yes, my skin is like that. Let's uh, go with this soap. This is an antibacterial soap, the toe. I got my very first tattoo and the girl who did my tattoo, she recommended me to try this soap and after I wash my tattoo to apply some Vaseline on it. And I have a tattoo now and it's good, it looks perfect, it's nice, it's amazing, I'm happy. And for those of you who got tattoos, you already know that I'm planning a second one. <laughs> but maybe after a year. I will enjoy this one I have. Maybe soon I'll be able to show it to you guys because right now I'm just trying to stick to the schedule with my products and my videos. It has aloe vera and milk protein, so it's fine. I even got a second one, but this time with aloe vera and I think something else was in it. I can't remember, but it's a good soap. I really not nice it. It's a little bit more pricey, I have to be honest, for a soap, a drugstore soap. But as I mentioned, it's antibacterial. Oh, something else for hair, I forgot to mention. This is a hair mask with snake oil. I used it for over an year. I haven't used any other hair masks. I have to say my, uh, my ends on my hair weren't so split while I was using it. Maybe I will buy another one, but this time a little bit different, not with snake oil. I like to try different, but not now. Now I'm focusing on a very specific hair mask I want to find, uh, but I'll mention it next time in another video. This is a good one, by the way. This is cheap. It's a Loris hair cream. Yes, deep moisturizing mask for damaged and chemically treated hair. I color my hair all the time. Every month I'm dyeing my hair and... This one's fine. This is Garnier Pure Active Purifying Cleansing Gel. I love the face wash, I like the toner, and I even like the, my, the micellar water with the same packaging. And uh, now I like this one too. This one is also good. I have a very sensitive skin, and let's not forget that I also have sometimes breakouts. Uh, my skin get irritates quite easily if the product is not good for it. This one is fine. This product was just fine. Okay, this is again by the big uh, uh, supermarket Lilo. This is their uh, gentle cleansing milk with lotus flower and silk for all skin types. Now, the first time I tried it, I think it was a little bit itching, but then nothing specific, nothing too drastic, nothing too much. I like that it comes with a pump, way, way more hygienic than anything else. And it's... maybe I'm going to try it again. Maybe I'll try another one. But I, uh, if you are on a budget and you're going... Uh, and you're going into the Lidl store, well, this one is good. And besides, Lidl is a German store where the brands are pretty much most German and German Brands don't use parabens and don't do tests on animals. It doesn't have parabens. Yes, it doesn't have. The first thing I do right for the last, I noticed that for the last year, every time when I buy a product, I always check the ingredients, and if I don't see any parabens, I'm happy. Okay, something else. This is way way cheaper, but this is my favorite favorite cleansing milk. Aria, this is by Aria's Cosmetics. And this is with seven herbs. I have tried almost each one of their cleansing milks with the seven herbs, with the cucumbers, with the rose, with the avocado oil. I mean, this is cheap. It's not how to say it. It's not very uh, how to say it in English. Well, let's say that it's not the most lasting one. After a month, I'm finished up with it. But it works, it's perfect. It doesn't give me irritation, redness, allergic reactions. And my skin is clean and good and it's fine. It's it's good, I like it. I just can't, what can I say? This is not the first package and it definitely won't be the last one. I even now got myself a new one with cucumber. Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water, the pink one. This is wonderful. I 
finished it up about a week or two ago and what can I say it's great this is Dentalux uh, mouthwash sensitive uh, I got it again in little supermarket and it's very refreshing but maybe I'll stick to the Listerine mouth uh, wash because they're way better. It's not a bad one, but it's just for refreshing. I find Listerine way more um, effective. Uh, Nivea Sensitive Aftershave Balm. We are all using this thanks to Nikki Tutorials now because it's perfect for a face primer. And to be honest, these days I even use it as a moisturizer. I don't know guys, I'm very picky. My favorite face cream is no longer produced, it's no longer on the market, so I'm sticking to this one which is so good and I will not apologize for using it instead of a face cream. It's good. It's that good. This is hand cream pure and natural with argan oil. This was my second or third package it's with 95% ingredients of natural origin. This is a hand balm. I think I got this in my good box. I used to use it in uh, at my work, mostly as instead of a hand cream. Um, it's nice, but I, I think it's quite oily. But that's normal because it contains mostly oils. You know, uh, almond oil, coconut oil. Shea, shea butter oil. Um, what else? What else? Pretty much it's just oils. You have combined oils. We boil them, we wait, we freeze them, they become so. And uh, yes, it's too oily for my taste, but it's nice. I mentioned this product before. This is the baby cream bochco with smoke tree. I mentioned it before because of my pole dance training. I have plenty of bruises because of my pole dance workouts and this little guy is the reason they are gone for two mostly three days this is that good I even have a new one this is how much I like it I have my some irritation something else I, I, I use this this because it's that good I recommended it to my sister about a year ago and she switched for a very very expensive baby cream to this one, which is way cheaper and that effective, even better, she said. So if you're a mom and you have a baby, maybe you should give it a try. Again from Balea DM uh, store, hand, hand and nail uh, balm with chamomile. Okay, I buy this little package almost all the time and I keep it in my handbag because of my job. I need to have uh, some good 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 hand cream or balm because my hands are getting very dry dry at my job place you know what can I say it's my everyday problem a little while ago I bought some wet and wild products and I got this pro face primer and I remember when I was watching some YouTube uh, videos you know with uh, Dulce Candy and uh, I think it was Jam Beauty 89, you know, Jessica. And they mentioned that the scent of this primer was a big problem for, for them. Now, I tried it. The scent is really weird. But after 30 seconds, it's gone. Uh, this turns to be nice. Uh, but I think I prefer my Nivea Sensitive Aftershave Balm more. It's not a bad product, but... You know, it's not my product, uh, but I recommend you if you want to try it. And it has no parabens again, and it's drugstore, and it's cruelty free, which is a huge plus according to me. Uh, this is uh, my uh, Prime and Fine Eyeshadow Base by Catrice Cosmetics. If you live in Europe, you know that we are very lucky to have Catrice Cosmetics. If you live in the United States, I believe that there are some stores where you can find Catrice products. This eyeshadow base, well, I can't say it's better than Essence. I think they're the same level, but I don't know. Hmm. It's not a bad one, 
but it's not a miracle worker. It's decent, it's fine. Maybe I'll buy it again, I'm not sure, but uh, for now it's, it's just good. We got into the makeup. Finally! This is a new Aversalist Complete Renew All Express uh, Wrinkle Smoother and I remember I got this from a giveaway. Uh, the giveaway was from Miss Vendewa, her name is Jana, and I remember when I was reading her post with the winners, she uh, she picked up five winners, and I saw the first four names, and I said, okay, I'm not there, and then I hit the uh, the line, continue reading, you know, because that's how it is in, on Facebook, and I saw my name, and I was so happy I got it, and I remember I even made a small review of this product on my blog. I will post the link below. This was a good one, by the way, and I love the packaging. You see, it has a mirror, and you flip it up, and then down, and you're done. This is a good product, by the way. Uh, if I have forgot to mention, to mention it's uh, by Avon. This is the 24-hour Lasting Finish Foundation by Rimmel London. This is not my favorite foundation, for one reason only. If I wear it more than 8 hours, I get plenty of breakouts on my jaw and a little bit here, you know. Uh, that's why I'm so surprised that I was even able to finish it up completely. But I used it only when I was going out to drink a coffee or a cocktail with my friends. You know, nothing more than staying with it with six, six hours. Uh, it matches perfectly my skin though. It blends very nice. But other than that, I think it's not a purchase I'm going to repeat. Okay. Now let's go for mascaras. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I bought it because Carly Bible said that it was her favorite, but now when I remember, I sh think she said L'Oreal Telescopic Black, and this is not the one. It, when I opened it, it wasn't thick enough. When I wait for it to dry out, it was decent, but the only problem I had with it were, was that it got plenty of little black parts here, you know, uh, under my eye. It wasn't nice. I mean... I will not buy it again, it's not worth it. Let's continue with the L'Oreal thing, okay? This is their uh, True Match Concealer. Now, this package is about... Well, I think it was... Yes, it's 5 milliliters. It's 5 milliliters and it's a little bit more expensive than Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer, which is about 7 or 8 and it's way cheaper. This, and if I have to be honest, I think I prefer Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer over this one. It's not a bad one, but not my favorite one. I will stick to the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer because I find it way, way, way more effective than this one. Okay, so this is uh, an uh, eye pencil uh, for the waterline. This is by Catrice Cosmetics in black. I am not finished with this pencil, but I'll tell you why. I think it has expired because when I applied it, my eyes were irritated and I I pretty much don't want to try it again to make sure if it's irrit it, it will irritate my eyes. It's not a bad one, but it has expired just, you know, it, it's not the, mo the, the long lasting, but for every day it's fine, it's fine, but it has expired, so no. Okay, this is by Impower. Impower is another German brand. I think I have this one for way too long and it's time to get rid of it because maybe it also has expired. Besides, it's not too thin, you know, the thick of it, the tip of it. If you can tell, I will not give you a closer look, guys, but it really is too big. But the Essence water waterproof one, I think is perfect. I think Tati from Glam Life Guru liked it a lot. I just, uh, I think I used it for over one month. It has dried a little bit, but other than that, I think it's a nice one and I will buy it again for sure. Besides, it's waterproof. I haven't tested if it's really waterproof, this one, but I don't know. Maybe I'll try it. Maybe I should go into the shower with it and check how waterproof it is. And the last thing is another mascara. Again, by Essence Cosmetics. This is their Get Big Lashes Volume Boost Waterproof Mascara. This 
works. I mean, it works. In the end of uh, February, I got back home from a very, very emotional day at work and my personal life and I got back home and I cried for over an hour. I was so sad. I was so depressed. I felt terrible and I was crying and crying and crying. And when I calmed down, when I felt better, I checked myself into the mirror and my mascara was still there. I didn't have any mascara's mark, you know, from the tears and everything. Nothing like that. So this thing works. It's cheap and it works and it's good. And why should I spend extra money for something that it's not even 100% sure it's going to work? This one really does. So if you're searching for a good waterproof mascara, I recommend you Essence. Essence products are very good. After all, this is a German drugstore makeup brand that really works. Okay, these were my all empty products that I have used up for the last two months. Let me say that. This is everything for two months, not one, two. I can't use, I can't use up so many products for just one month. It's not possible. Mm -mm, no. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video, guys. I hope I was helpful to some of you. Uh, I know I talk a little bit too fast and I apologize for the lighting, but I'm dealing with the natural lightning right now. And by the way, it's almost 6 o'clock p.m. here in Bulgaria. So, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If it is so, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share, because sharing is caring. And as always, guys, remember to keep on smiling, because obviously life is way too short to frown. Bye, guys!